So I decided to check out ChatGPT to see what kind of learning games I could play. So I played a text-based adventure game, which worked out pretty well. I also played Two Truths and a Lie based on a learning topic, not an icebreaker topic. And then Hangman. And I think ChatGPT played me instead of me playing with ChatGPT when we did Hangman. Stay tuned and I'll show you what happened. Okay, so here's a game based on those old text adventure games, kind of choose your own pathway through the content. So let's go ahead and put in this prompt. Now this prompt says, pretend you're a text-based adventure game, but instead of going through dungeons or finding Bigfoot, we're working for an insurance company. And the exciting thing is we're doing a needs analysis. So I've asked ChatGPT, to give me three choices to navigate through the whole game. You can add as many as you want. And then the questions are gonna be about the analysis step of the instructional design process. So it says, welcome to the text adventure game, analyzing instructional design. You find yourself in the heart of an insurance company tasked with the critical job of instructional design analysis. And now it's gonna give me choices, right? The first choice, as I start my analysis, I'm unsure of my target audience. So do I conduct a comprehensive survey and gather demographic data, or do I generate an instructional plan without specific information about the learners, hoping, you know, that it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and do the right choice. That's A, we'll select that and see what ChatGPT says in our text-based adventure. So basically it says that's an excellent choice. You've done the right thing. Now you need to determine the specific learning objectives. Do you brainstorm potential learning objectives or do you skip this step? So let's do something wrong. Let's skip that step and see what happens. Uh-oh, skipping that step of uh, determining the clear learning objectives can lead to confusion, oh no, and inefficiency. So to salvage the project, I have to decide one more thing. Do I proceed with content? How do I proceed with content development? So do I go back uh, to step two or do I forge ahead? Let's go ahead and go back, right? Choice A. So you can see how ChatGPT is having this interactive text-based adventure with me and giving me information about the needs analysis and testing my knowledge. So that's a great little game that you can develop and you can add all kinds of things. You can make it more fanciful if you want, or you can make it as realistic as you want, but that's a neat way to use ChatGPT to play a text adventure game. And when you work with ChatGPT to create that text adventure game, the interesting thing is you can change a number of parameters. So instead of three choices, for example, I can make it four choice. Well, I can make it four choices. Instead of being in an insurance company, maybe I'll be at a paper company um, like Dunder Mifflin or something. So you can actually change a lot of these parameters of this particular prompt, which I'll put in the show notes, but I'll also have here on the screen that you can take a look at it. And you can modify that to however you want and play games with the text adventure and figure out the right approach to the content and information that you want to generate in your text-based adventure game within ChatGPT. And hey, if you're finding this information useful and helpful, please tap on the like and subscribe button. It would really help. Now, on to our next game. Okay, let's play the game Two Truths and a Lie. Now, you've probably played this game before as an ice-breaking exercise, right? You tell two truths about yourself and a lie and people have to try to figure it out. But here's a learning version where instead of figuring out about personal information, we're doing a topic. In this case, the topic happens to be instructional design. You can pick any topic you want, but now I have to critically think, is this statement true or is this statement false? So it gives me a chance to apply some of my critical thinking skills. And so now here is the very first question. Um, Let's play two truths and a lie. Here are your three statements. Instructional design is primarily concerned with the visual aesthetics of educational material like PowerPoint and websites. Or ADDIE, Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, and Evaluation, is a widely used framework. Or gamification is a strategy that involves incorporating game elements. So I think the first one is a lie. It's not primarily about aesthetics. Let's see what ChatGPT thinks. It says you guess statement one. It says statement one, da-da-da, statement is false. So I was correct. So it's giving me 
uh, information on the false statement. Then it's giving me feedback about the Addy model. The statement is true. And then it's giving me feedback about gamification. So that's fantastic. Do we want to play another round? Yes, let's play another round. Cool. Uh, my typing uh, could use a little practice there. So of course, let's play round two. So round two, Bloom's Taxonomy is a framework that categorizes educational objectives into six levels from lower order to higher order. Kirkpatrick model uses the evaluation effectiveness of learning programs, four levels, reaction, learning, behavior, and results. So far, so good. So the third one, rapid prototyping, is an approach that emphasizes the development of fully functional prototype. Uh, I don't think it's fully functional. I think we want partially functional. Let's see what ChatGPT thinks. Okay, so statement number one is false. Um, this is, well, well, let's go back. Statement, rapid prototyping, yes. Uh, you guessed statement three, which is the lie. That's correct. So I got that one particularly correct. So that's great. Now, here's a fun thing. We can take that same prompt and we can say, as a wise old professor, play the host to the game, two truths and a lie. Okay, let's see what happens if we kind of mix up the person that's gonna be presenting to us. And so let's see, of course, I'd be delighted to host round two of truths and a lie, topic of structural design, here are your statements. Uh, please go ahead and guess which statement is a lie. So it hasn't really changed it much, right? Sam, so let's just go ahead and uh, uh, we'll pick one. And I think um, number one is the lie. And let's see what kind of feedback we get. You guess it, it's not correct. It's actually true. Now let's clarify the remaining statement. So it gives me feedback on the information. So uh, you had a bit of mix up there, but no worries. Uh, I'd like to try another question or have more instructional design related queries. Feel free to ask. So it kind of took on a little bit more friendly, but not as much as I would hope. So let's try one more thing. Let's say, um, as a game show host, and let's see what kind of information it provides. Is it any different? Is it the same? Okay, so it looks pretty much the same. Go ahead and say the same. ABC is uh, analysis, design, construction, and delivery. That's wrong. So I know number one all, all already is the lie. Oh, it's saying no, it's not the lie. So this is where ChatGPT breaks down a little bit. Um, ABC is audience behavior condition degree, as far as I know, in instructional design. Um, here they're saying that, uh, clarify the statements. Um, Guinea's nine events of instruction is a framework that outlines a series of steps. Statement is true. SAM model is a linear. It's not, so that's the lie. So ChatGPT doesn't always get it right, but it does Give us a chance to play a fun little game here, two truths and a lie, which <laughs> maybe in this case, it was three lies or something, or two lies and a truth. So uh, you have to have a, a little bit of caution, but um, it can check your critical thinking because you can see, hey, am I right? Is ChatGPT right? So it gives you a chance to play those games and check out that prompt. I'll leave it in the comments below. Here's a simple hangman game. Let's play hangman with instructional design terms. And let's see what this, oh, I misspelled terms, but I think ChatGPT is smart enough to know. So here's my first word. Um, that looks very difficult. So wonder if I could ask ChatGPT to give me a hint. Can you give me a hint? And let's see, maybe they will, of course. So instructional line term refers to gathering information with the learner's knowledge and attitudes to inform the design of educational materials. Hmm, maybe it's needs analysis? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, it looks like it changed on me. Uh, a, and then I see no A. Uh, let's see, what is the word? Maybe ChatGPT, the word is needs. That's not seven letters. So, oh, maybe is the answer needs analysis. So let's see which, ah, there it is, needs analysis. So ChatGPT, again, it's not perfect. Uh, it's playing games within games. Um, how about another word? And let's see what it does there. 
and uh, let's see if we can nine letters. Um, let's do A, see what that does. Okay, let's do N. Why not? We've guessed those before. A, N, how about L? Let's see what if L's in there. Uh, okay, how about an E? How about a B? Although I don't think that would be it. So let's see what happens if we get one wrong. Oh, it's thinking. Hmm. Maybe you see the word. I'm not sure what it is. How about a hint? Or an M I? Benchmarking, that's not right at all. Okay, so ChatGPT does have a little bit of a problem here with Hangman, so you gotta be careful. That is very confusing, very confusing. Okay, so um, still has some work, and you know, I, I, I'm working on the free version, and I do that because I think most people out there might be working on the free version, but uh, as we know, AI hallucinates, and this is an issue that we need to be aware of. So um, not the right word choice for what we want. And there you have it, games you can play with ChatGPT. But be careful, ChatGPT just might be playing games with you.